please be advised. Ventures in Initiative may have triggering content for some viewers. Adventures and Initiative presents Valmira. Hello and welcome to Adventures Initiative. I am your DM, Dono. Welcome back. <laughs> it's been a week. It's been fun. Uh, <laughs> chaos ensued last session and rushing and trying to save people. And yeah, um, I'm not going to make anybody do a recap because fuck. <laughs> There's my guy. Um, you guys defeated the bad guy. Well, not completely defeated, but you defeated his goons, saved the children, saved the frog lady, uh, and ended up leaving the mission a little uh, early to try and save Jerry after realizing that he was infected with what the frog guy had, Nikolai, which you guys learned about that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and you came back after some really shitty rolls. Jerry's mind was lost to the the, 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 the disease. To the disease. I'm not going to go on a rampage there. Um, <laughs> um, so yeah, we will not be starting this session with Shop in the chat, but he Bye, is shop. with us in spirit. Fantasy, where'd you go? <laughs> I'm still here. Okay. Sorry. Just okay. yeah. You're good. <laughs> um, but yeah. Marish had a dream about his patron and made the decision to continue his knowledge within his books and learn more about magic in order to gain more power and gain more purpose. And I think people made decisions about what they want to do next and now uh, what plans they should make towards it or if they shouldn't. I think that's where we're going to go is like basically you guys need to start making plans towards what your goal is going to be. But now we begin our session with the sun rising, the windows with uh, windows entering in with light, hitting your eyes and waking you all as you open it or come out into the hallways, hearts heavy and enter into the dining room, passing Marilyn, the giant gelatinous cube as she's cleaning the hallways and says and she wiggles to say hello to you all um, hello. You, pass the, you pass the giant stone statues and you enter into what is the dining room and you see passed out uh, Dr. Gary and Kaur sleeping on the table with paperwork in front of him and items sprawled out and you can recognize them as some of Jerry, uh, Jerry's items as, let me pull these up. I promise, uh, I don't know, I hit the wrong button. I need to go to campaigns. Do, 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 view campaign. Okay. Equipment, okay. So, on the table, let me see, a backpack, a bedroll, candle, five candles, um, I'm going to keep that one out, because that would probably, uh, you see two daggers, a disguise kit in which, uh, Gip is playing with, and is looking at, uh, a long sword, a loot, a rusted handgun, uh, viola and water skin. And uh, Gary and just passed out at the table. It's completely, it's not like set up for dinner or anything like that, it, or breakfast. Sorry. Um, no, yeah, he's just passed out. It looks, you can also see that there is some paperwork that is not by him, and he has like pens and stuff written out if anybody wants to look around more. And look closer into anything like that, but yeah, what do you guys like to do? Marish would like to kind of look at Jerry's possessions, okay, just kind of stand there with a glum look on his face, just kind of touching them, yeah. 
They look to have uh, been recently washed and cleaned and taken care of. Disinfected. And... Yeah, basically. Just gonna go and touch his for... head. Oh, okay. Gary, and he wakes up and goes, Sorry. Um, oh, good morning. Um, while you were sleeping, I decided to do a thing and collect his uh, stuff in case any of you wanted something. Um, are you safe? Or what it amounts to? I have him in an area where there shouldn't be anything disturbing him. Um, and I've begun trying to find research, but uh, then you see that there is like a uh, piece of paper in front of him, and he has like a pen, and it says uh, Adventurer's License. And you guys remember the fact that you guys needed to find that if you guys wanted to be adventurers or mm -hmm. do things and such, you would need to find somebody um, that would be willing to sponsor you. Okay, and Barry, you would know that the adventurers, like the reasons why they need to get sponsors in case mm -hmm. things go wrong, somebody takes the responsibility instead of just chaos being ensued and yeah. keep people in check. It's kind of like the same thing of like, it, there's allowed to be science, but it's controlled. So, mm -hmm. he goes, um, I'll let you first do this and then I'll talk to you after what show, please. Take your time. Figure out what you would wish to have. Gip takes the disguise kit and puts it in his bag. And is solemn and quiet within this within these moments. So. Marish would solemnly pick up the loot. Okay. Shop. Oh, wait. Oh! There's also a uh, bag of gold coins, uh, silver coins, and copper coins on the table. We'll, we'll be shape. taking that, too. Uh, you, yep. That's This is his. You guys can do what you wish with it. Hold on to it. Uh, spend it. Do whatever. I don't... We yeah. don't know. What How the about we just pack up his backpack and I take the backpack? Okay. You can do whatever they wish. Um... So, like I said uh, the night before, I said that I would help you, and this is the best thing that I can do for you. And he now puts uh, the paperwork towards you and says, this is paperwork uh, basically saying that you guys are adventurers underneath my name. I take responsibility for you guys' actions, and we draw up a contract and things that I'm okay with and things that I'm not. Mm -hmm. Basically, just don't go around destroying a town. <laughs> okay. Um, but if with I, this, if it I gives... ever say Nicola again, there's no promises. Uh, yeah, that's true. I this is so you guys can be able to find him without anybody. Well, thank you. you. Or yes. yes. Um, there are a few things because mm -hmm. of how what my job is. I do work for the order and the government, so there's a thing. I have to do. It's called the presentation. It's a big event in Laxos capital. Um, it's not for a month, though, so you guys are fine. Uh, but you will need to be there. Basically, you guys help me present my research. <laughs> okay. And that's part of your job. Okay. But if you guys are up for it, okay. just sign. I also have a few things that uh, I will give you for your journey as well. So you see Maris take this kind of like a roller out of his bag and paints his claw and just goes stamp. Well, all right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that works. Good job. I can see. And I'll just sign it. I, I don't okay. write so well. Yeah, Very true. comes over and signs it as well. Uh, I don't know how Yip would do it because I didn't ask mm -hmm. that question. Um, yeah. Here's so he takes it 
uh, and says like a few arcane words and it splits in two. It's like makes a complete copy. Um, and it's just like, all right, so this is yours. Anybody ever show not ask you anything, do it. And if you need to work with somebody or somebody wants to work with you, you can add their name to the list and it'll automatically add it to mine. Okay. Yep. All right. Um, <laughs> but from here on out, your adventure is underneath my name. You can have whatever co company name you wish. Uh, actually, what do you guys want to call yourselves? Good question. The Swamp Monsters. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a bad name. Yeah. Yet, <laughs> I have no idea. Swamp monsters it is. <laughs> um, Can't say I've ever been to a swamp, but hey. Well, take your time. I'll, I'll have to take you there sometime. It, the swamp <laughs> yes. was, uh, it, it was a fun place to grow up. You can't go too far out. You, you get lost real easily. I bet. Well, Very much you bet. All right. So. Mom doesn't like it when I get lost. You guys can take the next couple days to uh, present a plan and where you want to go. And he pulls out a map of the area. And I will bring one up on. Oh, here we go. Okay, so. Here's this. So. He brings it up to Valmira area. You guys are currently in right here. The island is right here, and basically there is uh, the elven capital, and then down here is the mountain area, and then into Kroll, which is, you guys would know, is full of demons, uh, dwarves, uh, what is it, apparitions? No. I can't remember the name of the word, uh... It's the thing that like mind flares are, but it's aberration. Aberrations. I was just saying it slightly wrong, wasn't I? Okay, aberrations. Um, and then obviously swamp is up north. <laughs> You're not a hundred percent sure where you would. I don't know if you guys would know or have an idea of where you would go, but with and he's just like, so what did you? What was the experience like? Terrible. Oh, obviously. <laughs> sorry, hey, I'm mm -hmm. sorry to laugh. Um, I mean, like, what was he using? What, what was his magic like? Summon demons. Demons. All right. And and there was the what was with those monkeys? They were really weird. They were like undead monkey thingy. Mm hmm. <laughs> I think Wait, he was using to... necromancy. That's oh, he thing. was! Because there was that thing on the table. Yeah. Yes. There's a thing on the table. The thing See, on the table, didn't we tell you? I think... We'll just say that you did. Because <laughs> I can't remember if you did or not. We, we didn't. I'm, I'm literally okay. I'm arguing with uh, him. Oh, uh, oh. I didn't hear anything about a table, but, um... Well, I, I didn't go get a good look, but there there were these weird things on a table underneath the sheet, and I think Yip used some sort of magic to to take some of the things and create this weird-looking bird. Yeah, she did. It yeah. was creepy. He. Yip is a he. Oh. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I did. Yeah. yeah, they did. Yeah. Oh, so... Nikolai seems to be working in experimentations, magic, and trying to find, I would imagine, freedom to do more. Well, and he's, got, and he's mixed up with demons, too? How did he yeah, learn he how to summon six demons? six of them around us. Goodness. They're Not right, a magic well, user. So, what a yeah. snow. Um... Yip is the magic user, and Yip is not here. <laughs> well, I'm also a magic user. Mm -hmm. That's true. You are. Um, 
more knowledge. But you wouldn't really know too much about the world around you, and neither would you. No. <laughs> True. So it's a little bit uh... hard. <laughs> I believe Briar would be the only one left to know anything about the world around. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, thinking about it. Mm-hmm. Honestly, your investigation could go... Uh, I don't know. Well, okay. So with Marish, mm-hmm. if you're thinking towards the swamp, which drunk, I don't know where your camera went. Oh, I, I t- turned it off for a second. Give me a second. Okay. Um, but for, with Marish, you don't remember there being very many demons or anything within the swamp? Granted, no, you haven't and, been and very far. And the one time I encountered something really awful, uh, I remember that uh, I just I was unconscious and don't know what happened and don't remember how yeah. I got there. Yeah. So most of the mm-hmm. things that are within the swamp are like, beasts and creatures and that there's like obviously um aberrations and stuff like that yeah, secret tunnels <laughs> waterfalls <laughs> and, and, and there's like a lot to it but nothing demonic wise <laughs> up that way um briar you would know from the capital that there's mostly the study of like undead and then there's the undead army and such in that area which is currently un- not in use because there's not any threat of a war in mm-hmm. the world. Um, so thinking about it may not be, I don't know, you could probably go back to the island and see if you can find some, like if he had like a map or anything like that, or oh, I there's anywhere. I'd like to go back to that island. Or if there's like any direction. You want to go back to the island? I want to kill him. Okay, but do you want to choose a random direction and not know where you're going, or...? No, a map would be handy. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, you have a map in front of you right now, and you're discussing, like, areas in the region and things about and trying to figure out, like... Basically, right now, this is you guys strategizing and trying to figure Mm -hmm. out the direction of where to go. Where would you get off the island? He's got to still be there. Well, mm, well there's different magic. If he, yeah. Okay, so, um, Kor pipes up and he goes like, if I'm being honest, I was the one teaching him magic and giving him... <laughs> you what? Don't, don't. Shouldn't I have didn't said teach that. him any of the things that you said. I didn't, Mar- I didn't Mar- teach like him any of the things bread. that I, they said. Bread. I, I understand you're angry at me, but it was part of the trade and them, um, everything. And he was meant to protect everyone there. I don't know why he would get into a situation like this. I, from my understanding, he just had a good knowledge of arcane. And so he was mm. practical. It was smart. It was not like he could. And so that's what I did. And now he became. I taught him a few spells to be able to uh, fight, nah, um, prop like fight people if needed, uh, if there was danger within the island, and it got them into an area where they could start learning magic and grow. Mm-hmm. But I never taught him about demons or diseases or anything like that. There had to have been something that did that what were was there anything weird on the island everything the flail everything oh the flail snails are in the cave and that's for their safety what what about the bermit crab that was kind of weird the bermit oh there was a big cool magic chest yeah there was his eyes kind of widen and he's just like Okay, tell me more about that, please. Yes. Well, we opened up the chest, and there were these pretty cards in them. Um, and there were some burn marks, and I, I grabbed one of the cards, and then something weird happened, and we saw this building with all kinds of monsters in it. And, and something that said the deed, but I don't know what that means. So, uh, But it had our names on it. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
What what did the what did the couch look like? Um I'm trying to remember myself. Uh didn't they have stars on them? Sure. Uh, I, I don't remember. <laughs> they had an, you guys remember there, fun there, was like an eye. there was an eye on the back of them. It was an eye. There was this really cool eye on the back of them. And it, it was like talking. Yeah. Go, I had to reach out to and touch a, it. You, go, you, see, you see him go to like a wall of books and he like picks one out and he kind of like flips through it. And he just kind of puts in front of you, did they look like this? And you read at the very top of it in common, it says deck of many. Yeah. And it's a card that has the eye on the back, on the back of it. And he's just like, well, fuck. Okay. Yep. Yes. We're dealing with chaos here. That's right. That's not. Weren't There's you before? One... We don't, so nobody knows all the cards within the deck of mm -hmm. many things, but they cause crazy things to happen some of them are good some of them are bad but mm -hmm. most people i don't know um if he found the chest there's a chance that he drew he might have drawn picked a card that gave him more well where where that, why would the cards be there where did they come from i don't know and they just disappeared mm -hmm. after i took the card Goodness. That's Magic is a weird anybody... thing. Yes, it is. It is quite weird. That's why I'm more of a man of shines, but not, I use magic within it. <laughs> yeah. Um. Oh, but while we're talking about magic, um, I have a few things for you. Uh, okay. But it sounds as though he may have gotten wrapped up in something and is being drawn in a certain... <sighs> you hope. We're talking about evil magic... I know that Laxos, we're mostly science. We're not going to be dealing with crazy chaos and such like that. But demons and such, that sounds more like, oh, I hate to say it, but more like Kroll and the dwarves. But those demons are usually under wraps. I can't, fuck. And he just kind of like is whispering underneath his breath. But um, anyway, uh, come with me. And he brings you into his office area, which is next to the dining and he and you remember seeing what is a coat on a like dummy a um i'm trying to remember the other things <coughs> there's the coat there is a um i'm trying to think here there we go Go down to this and look up the list of things that can be chosen. Um, all right. So first things first. This is a coat of my own design, Briar. If you wouldn't mind putting it on. <laughs> okay. I take mine um, off and put his on. Okay. It is surprisingly lightweight. Now, just. Ask for a knife. Like, put your hands in the coat and ask for a knife. Put my hands in the coat. Knife. And you feel a knife suddenly apparate into your hand. They got a knife. So, you guys know the bag of holding. Yes? Mm-hmm. Bag of holding? Yeah. Yes. It's a little bit more distinct. Uh... And also, and he pulls, and he points to like the little coat pocket that you have right there. Um, I can send you messages through here, and Ooh. it's just like it's like completely empty. It's like a black void. But uh, and he goes to his That's desk, what? and he just has like a small typewriter. And he just types up like a message, and it's just like ding, send, and you go. And that typewriter eats it. And it comes back up into the chest piece, and it just says, "Hello there." <laughs> Hello there. So, yep. So, um, we can gain communication with that. If you guys have in, like things that you wish to ask or whatever, or I don't know. Okay. If I can help you with anything. I can't send you items, but I can send you messages. So. Hey, it's better than nothing. Can we fit yes. the backpack in there? Uh, yeah. It holds about the same as what a bag of holding would. 
Okay. And if you ever need to just empty it out, just turn the arms inside out. Will and, do. Uh, yep. So I would put uh, Jerry's backpack of belongings in and there. It just, just gets Dang. sucked in there. So you've got a coat of holding. So if you want to just add a bag of holding into your thing. And okay. You add that. Uh, let me look at the other things that I can... Okay. Okay. Um, I can also give you one, uh, these, and he holds up like a bag, and it's just, uh, it's a bag of, like, it's an alchemy bag. <laughs> like, I've got a couple of these. They're not that big of a deal to make uh, for me, but if any of you know how to use alchemy, you can take this with you, uh, create experimentation stuff. Uh, I also have... I, I wish I could have done something, but, uh, <laughs> hmm. I'm looking at all this. Um, I can make a few different things for you. Uh, but I think most of the things that I can make, you guys can already do on your own, besides this bat, this coat of holding. Um, because Marish, you can breathe water. <laughs> Uh, you, you can stay underwater. Uh, <coughs> I... I can give you something that might help you in a survival situation. In case of what? In case of needing uh, liquids. If you wish. I have a few of those made. I have one of those made, actually. Two. Maybe. But I, ha I can give you one. Okay. 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 All right. Um, and he, like, wall turns that had, like, the scrolls in it, and he just pulls out, like, a big old jug, and he just... I'm guessing neither one of you actually know how to identify anything, do you? No. Looking at no. both of you. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, yep, you're a wizard, yep. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yep. Pulls out a scroll for yep. Hands it to Yip, and <laughs> so when Yip comes back ne uh, next time, or if anybody wants to message Ace, they have a scroll mm -hmm. that they can put into their book that is uh, identify. <laughs> That's him. So, yeah. <laughs> Just for well, that. Um, but this is an alchemy jug. Ooh, cool. <laughs> So, yeah, you can have that. <laughs> I imagine all of you have night vision. I can make a couple different things, but ultimately, I think you guys all have what you would need. But these are some handy things that I can give you in case of any need. Yeah. Now, um, okay. if you want my two cents without even doing any kind of investigation, it sounds like the best place that Nikolai would be able to go is... The direction of Kroll. Um, some things that you can do on your way there. There is a town called. Let me remember the name. If you wish, uh, Elford. Elford. Uh, it is more of like a small stop. Like a. You guys would know, like on a long road trip, there's like literally a small area where it's just like a gas station and maybe like a hotel. And then, like, a place to stop. There's, like, three things there, but it's, like, necessities. Um, mm -hmm. This is a good resting spot. You can find some missions there around, along your path. Uh, they have a big old message board of quests and things that you can do. Um, if you guys decide to take the main roads to get to Kroll. Or you okay. can take the dangerous path, which is through the forest, through the mountains, and into Kroll. But you might get stopped by gods if you ever if you actually make it into Kroll. And they may think that you're spies if you don't go in there correctly. Um That one would be pretty dangerous, because those mountains aren't very safe. <laughs> That's alright. Right. Um but if you guys take the long way and enter in correctly, you could also I don't know. Because he's thinking about it. But you can probably find some quests, some jobs along the way, and strengthen yourselves up. Gain experience together. 
and do what you need to to prepare mm -hmm. yourself because I don't know what Nikolai is going to. Um, if you guys wish, you can go back to the island. I think they still have some bottles, like so I can pay you to not I can finish paying you for your quest mm -hmm. to do that. So you guys can start with some extra gold as well on your uh, quest as as you see. Um but yeah. What would you guys like to do? Um hmm. if you guys do the if you guys decide to go to the island, I'll do a time skip and you guys can roll like an investigation to see if you can find any extra uh, clues for that. I'm just saying we're not going to have okay. to play that whole thing. <laughs> yeah. Well, Marish kind of wants to go back to the island. He wants to start there. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. So, all right. So you guys, so we're going to do a little bit of like kind of a time skip. You guys tell me if you want to talk to anybody. So like Lillian, ask her a few questions. Um, that's going to oh, be kind of... Want Yip's going to be the one talking, but uh, mm -hmm. Yip can, like, discern through writing and common kind of for you guys, and then I can tell you what brief information you get. Then you can search the island as well in, like, a general sense in areas. Um, but, yeah. So. Okay. Well, you guys are easily able to ask for the more jugs, jars. Okay. So, you would you would automatically get that from uh, okay. Core. Um, Professor Marish, Dr. Cole. Marish would like to see if they have any ad additional information on Nikolai. Okay. Um, you learned that Nikolai was their, like, uh, mage for the island. He was learning mm -hmm. magic. He seemed to have an adept, like, knowledge or have, like, a brain that he couldn't be able to understand and use magic. Um, so, like, either high intelligence, high wisdom... A situation. Um, roll investigation for me. Both or just him? Either. Uh, this is his thing, so he can roll. Okay. That is a five. Five. Okay. Um, past that, besides asking, that's about it. They can find. So he was in depth. He was strong about his like he had an knack for magic. Where what was your question stay? again? Huh? Well, if they knew where he might have gone, where he might have gotten this information. Oh, you're asking about, like, what's his tent? Well, first off, I'd like to know if they might know where he's gone. Mm -hmm. um, secondly, any information that would help us find him. And thirdly, which one is his tent, so that way I can uh, ransack it for information. <laughs> Yeah, you have a high enough persuasion that it's probably easy enough for you to do this. So, um, you get you roll taken it? to his tent. You can roll if you want. <laughs> Natural one. You can either accept or 25. you can roll for it. 25. Okay, yeah. You definitely are able to, like, persuade your way through. Even with, like, the language gap, you're able to figure it out. Um, in your charismatic, childish ways, you're able to be like, oh, it's ah, I'm fine. <laughs> um, you get to his tent, and there is, like, a notebook that's there, but it's, like, in a language you don't understand. <laughs> it's okay, translated. Okay. So. And there's also, like, you find a map within the notebook. Can I read like, the a map? Few different uh, I'm deciding whether or not I want to... Eh, yeah, roll an investigation. Or insight. Insight. Do that. That's Did you already eight. found an eight? You find arrows that point... Eight. So you find arrows that are pointing in different directions, but you have no idea about like northwest south you'd have to show it to somebody else and they'd have to do an insight check and check a few different Rock, things but yeah found <laughs> okay and what is it okay it's a notebook and a map all right i guess i'll look into it make an insight check <laughs> go for it dice do not hate me 
Dice hate me. That's a nine. Oh god. You get about... There's a bunch of arrows. There's not... <laughs> There's a bunch of arrows. There's a bunch of things. Let me let me look at... Uh, let me look at okay. this and see if Brett, he can check it out. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Uh, insight. Oh, good. It has a plus three. Yeah, well, so did I. <laughs> Dice hate get me. Get You're going in jail. One. Oh. Get roll the one. <laughs> but that's the one. Can you go to your mama? What's up? I love you. Okay. Um. Get roll the one. You guys are not getting very much off of this. You can't like. It seems like chicken scratch to all three of you. It's oh no. it's rough. It's rough. <laughs> Maybe doctor. You know, maybe Dr. Cord can figure this out. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah. We'll have to see. Okay. <laughs> You'll definitely have to see. All right. Um, <laughs> you guys do everything uh, and then make an investigation on the island itself. Okay. Dice, do me if good this anybody time. anybody wants to give advantage to somebody else, you can. I already have advantage. You know what? Okay, then Yip will give advantage to Marish. Okay. Okay. That was way better. <laughs> you guys. Yeah, I'll take the sixteen. I'll okay. take the natural unnatural twenty. Whoa. Okay. That was totally. Um. Fun. So you guys end up actually going to the cove that you didn't go to beforehand, uh, and find what seems to be boat marks. Crap. Oh. He probably left. Lovely. Nikolai seems to have taken a boat. Um, what okay. was your number again? Mine? Yeah. yeah. Unnatural 20. Unnatural 20. Okay. Um, you also find... Like, you can look around and kind of... I don't know if you would be able to actually find anything in this situation. But an unnatural 20 is pretty decently high. Um... It looks like it was pushing towards like a southern region or southern direction. Okay. Nope. So I guess we're going to the south. Alright. Um Marish, what did you find? Or what did you get? Sixteen. Sixteen, okay. With yours, and I'll say that you go into a different area. You look back up into the cave more. Uh, the chest is not there anymore. But after looking further into it, you do find what is some uh, alchemical symbols. And what seems to be... Uh, make an arcana check for me. Okay. That's decent. Twelve. Twelve. These symbols are not drawn, they are burned into their area. Do I recognize the symbols? Uh, no. Because you may know some about alchemy, but you don't know this stuff. Yeah, I'm, I'm not an alchemist, I'm a... Right. Crap. So. Yep. <coughs> so. Everybody's gone. <laughs> Welcome back. Uh, you guys make it back with all your information presented to Core. And Core is very easily able to discern the map. I'm just going to roll to see how easily he's able to discern it. That's decently enough. Um, basically, it is confirmation that it seems that Nikolai is heading south. Okay. And south is Kroll. So towards those mountains. Um, you don't know what direction he is, but it seems to be something like he's been planning for a little bit. And yeah. So. Sorry, guys. At least more. All right. So. Um, you get paid for your job. Everybody gets 75 gold. More than what you already have. 
You can split Jer or Jerry's gold. Uh, how do you guys want to make it back to town? What is the easiest way? It's up to you guys. You can try... You guys can either sail back. Mm -hmm. um, you can take the beach back, which is a nice walk. Um, you can take either the south or north side of the beach to walk back. Uh, you could maybe find something on your way if you take the beach. Maybe like a boat or something. Maybe an indication of something. You don't, You never know. Okay. I want to go south. Okay. Okay, we can go uh, south. All right. You begin to make your trek that way. <laughs> Woo! Travel along. There is the forest on to the... Uh, you leave your way uh, from Dr. Garion or from Garion Core's mansion. Uh, he thanks you for your work. You guys get paid. And you're off! Yeah! After walking for about three to four hours, it's, it's a nice day. It's cloudy. It's like overcast. It's not dark and gloomy, but it's like cool, but also with in being like the more southern area, temperature seems to drop slightly because mm -hmm. this is a large lake. You guys are going to be walking for about three to for about three days, um, and you hear something coming from the forest as uh, you hear a voice that is unusual and shop. You are currently being pinched by a little tiny crab <laughs> that has decided to not like you very much. <laughs> oh. Please stop this. This is not kind. Please stop pinching. Do you not speak common, you little bugger? <laughs> um, with him most definitely getting the crab. frustrated. Uh, the crab definitely does say, not hit you. <laughs> Uh, this crab has with like him a plus two to attack and roll the four. With... <laughs> uh, yeah, no, with, with, with seven now starting to get his uh, frustration.exe is starting to run. Um, so he's going to try and punch it. This little tiny crab that's probably barely more than like maybe. A I'm imagining it's just like hanging off his hand. He's just like, stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Please stop this. This is not nice. Get it's definitely not doing like any way. damage. If it, it, yeah, it's, it's literally like considered just, as a grapple. <laughs> I'm, I'm not like, it's not even setting off pain receptors. And then it's just like, okay. Um, oh, fuck. <laughs> That's a 21. Oh, you just punch it and it explodes. <laughs> it's literally got like one HP. It's just like, stop it. Boom. <laughs> Well, wow. very too cool. And it's just like a little tiny claw on your hand now. It's like, little friend, I did not mean to make you teleport. Thank you for no longer oh. making me annoyed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, sh should I describe him? Yeah, you can tell. Uh, what did they see? <laughs> so you guys see. Uh, how tall is he? You guys see a six foot five warforged in a kind of earthy purple gambeson with blue and green striped pants going down, like poofy striped pants going down into light colored leather boots. Uh, underneath the gambeson is a uh, kind of forest green, like a light forest green shirt. Um, his what you can see of his body is his hands and his face, which are a combination of this dark steel and this kind of aged bronze. And around his head, he has a uh, dull copper circlet that's just kind of worked into his, his brow. And his eyes are these like kind of glass lenses that are just kind of this soft blue, uh, just kind of glowing in them and on his back is a giant sword <laughs> uh if, if you know like japanese cleavers mm -hmm. but with like okay. an, an in a inner curving part on the edge and it is like 
The sword is almost as tall as he is from tip to pommel. It is huge. Um, he also is has one the, of the swords that were in. Uh, the, it's, uh, I'm literally describing him off of my Hero Forge. Yeah. All right. For him. So just real quick, because um, I know I posted it, the exotic weapons and stuff. I don't know. If uh, it is like not exotic. It's just it's just a great sword. The description is just for flavor. Okay. Cool. You posted it when I when I showed you the the Hero Forge. Yeah. Um, All right. He also appears to have a mace and some javelins on his belt, as well as a backpack. Uh, and he he doesn't have expressions, but with the kind of blue of his eyes as they sh they're shifting between blue and green, he seems confused. <laughs> like, what the? Uh, do I notice them? Uh. Make a perception check. Oh, this is gonna end badly. <laughs> <laughs> we just had a conversation about this. I know. I have mean, I no, ever actually, seen a actually, Warforge before? Probably actually, would not. any of them have seen a Warforge? Like, we're we're a pretty uncommon race, right? Yeah, I mean, like they they're a thing here, but most people would probably look at you and be like, "That's a dude in armor," and for some reason, he has a jacket over his armor. <laughs> That, that's a 10. Okay. Um, you see some shadows over by the beach, but you don't know what they are. <laughs> it's just like, oh, okay. Yeah, he's just going to kind of just beast. be like... Like uh, that gif of what's-his-name in uh, Pulp Fiction, just... Okay. Uh, you guys... Yeah, obviously I said that you and marriage solemn. So <laughs> what what are you guys what are you wanting to do? Do not run up to him, Marish. Marish just watched him make a uh, crab cease to exist. Yeah, Marish is gonna kinda hide behind Briar. He's scary looking. Yes he is. Do we wanna go see? Yeah, I just can hide. <laughs> and then shop can have to make a character. I'll roll another character. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess I'll make another one. <laughs> if I roll Imagine. another character, I'm legit rolling like a really nice old hag. Just a, a granny wizard. Yes. <clears throat> but no, I go slowly up and say hello yeah he's gonna like just like his upper body is gonna turn and then his feet are gonna like stomp 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 as the rest of him turn. <laughs> <laughs> hello there what i what am god steven who are you i am briar briar nice to meet you where am i you're all in, on an island we're not on the island, right? We're, you're uh, not on, we're the on the island. Oh. Oh. You're, you're on, on the beach, beach area. Lake. You guys are walking. We're on a beach. Around. Like, there's this forest, beach, and, yeah. So. Mm -hmm. I, I meant where in the world. I have, I have, I have, I have, I have apologies. I have damage. <laughs> you're good. We all have damage. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> My damage is likely repairable. I just need to find ah. home. But I have job. What was job? I do not remember. Do you remember where your home is? No. Oh. I know I am Acolyte of Nela and Order of Nela. But I do not remember where Temple is. You're weird okay. looking. Hello, tiny lizard person. That is not nice. <laughs> but it's true. Did I mention he's chaotic good? <laughs> oh! <laughs> At least someone's good. Still, <laughs> not nice. It is not nice to call someone weird looking, especially for one like you, whose scales seem to be shifting color. Oh yeah, they would have turned into that nervous black. 
Yip um, is just. A, I'm just gonna say that Yip is asleep in Briar's backpack. <laughs> I don't know just, if you have one. Uh, what are you, Ooh, Kitty? Can I scratch ears? He yes, raises his that. hand, and it, it it looks like a normal human hand, but just made of metal and probably would be very uncomfortable. Um, He's so asleep. To describe Yip correctly, <laughs> guard, you would see a gray kind of, uh, I believe she made it a bit like a ragdoll, Siamese looking, um, with, you can see a large scar across one of the eyes, and looks like slightly sunken in the face, but then, but uh, has wears a staff on Gip's back, and uh, I believe it's a great cloak. What's your where's your character art? Is uh, their character art is in uh, gifts and picks? Um, yeah, I believe so. Oh, there's the exotic stuff. Okay, yeah. So gray face. I believe it's blackened ears. Uh, eight like a scar and then like a purple cloak over top of them with like a belt and you can just see that yeah, I'm, I'm there is like now. skulls and daggers and stuff on it but it's just like a little tiny cat person or a little tiny cat because I would imagine Yip just looks like a little tiny cat when they're not moving yep granted Yip is like three feet tall so a big tiny cat <laughs> That is easily carried. <laughs> so, yeah. They have a pet cat. These two. <laughs> this lizard person and this dog-looking person. <laughs> Wait, dog-looking person? Yeah. Briar well, is a uh, shifter. Wolf. Yeah, but I still look like human until I shift. Yeah. So. Yeah. But you have, like, some <laughs> slight features that may be animalistic. Like, you have probably elongated uh, canines. Um, your eyes are slightly jarred and, like, hmm. has some kind of uh, canine features. My apologies, but as speak to previous inquiry, where are we? Oh, what no, I was kind of is lost. This? That we're, is okay. I am always lost. We're, we're on a beach and we're headed to find a really bad guy. Bad yes. guy. Very He's bad guy. Like, his eyes shift to this very light red, and he leans in. Tell me of bad guy. <laughs> he hurt a friend of mine. Hurt a like friend. Him. He's absolute worst guy. Mm-hmm. I told very... you Marish was gonna like him. <laughs> <laughs> He's yeah. absolute worst guy. Where is he? I help. We 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 don't know. We just know he went this direction and we're we're gonna go mm -hmm. find him he's gonna yep. turn in a turn in a circle to where marish is pointing oh you mean east he is oh. still facing south no, <laughs> his, yeah dono his internal compass is definitely messed up <laughs> yeah, look at the sign. <laughs> he has to reorient maps to match the compass to be right <laughs> oh <laughs> Oh, by the way, you guys do have a map. No. I forgot to mention that. Yeah. You guys do have a map of the area, so. Oh, he, he gave the, the, the professor yeah, gave he gave map. you a copy of a map, so you guys now have a well, map. You also you have, yeah, so make sure that you guys have a copy of a map written down um, and that you have licensing for adventures. So if that's ever come up with guards, whatever, or is asked, you have you present that within a situation. Well, if this is bad guy and is self, I know not my mission, but I will help. Perhaps it will help me find repair or my mission. Uh, if that okay. Well, it's like the most broken yeah. common I can speak. <laughs> let's let's, uh, let's be lost together. It's okay. We're going to go yeah. find a bad guy now. Yes, we are. Well, I shall come with. And he just, like, his eyes shift back to that, like, it's not sky blue, but it's, like, mm -hmm. slightly, like, the, I'm gonna get really poetic here. You know, like, how the sky gets, like, that dark blue right before a storm? It's that. 
and it's kind of just like okay. lowly, low glow in them. Briar, he's weird. I think I we all are. You. I if think you wish, I don't whisper very uh, quietly. No, I just have very, very good ears when you are standing right next to me. If you wish, I can shut off ears. No, it's okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's move along now. <laughs> Probably good. <laughs> Let's go. Sorry. So with this, we're about an hour in. I think a five-minute break would be good. Also, Shop, you sent me a question, and I'm going to answer that for you. During yeah, the I, I okay. was going to ask you before, and I totally spaced. Okay, cool. I okay, will get us course. over to <laughs> the break. Thank you for watching and or listening to Adventures in Initiative. If you're enjoying the show, please consider sharing it with others and giving us a like, review, or follow. You can watch us live on Saturdays at 2.30 p.m. PST at twitch.tv forward slash adventures underscore and underscore initiative. Thanks again from all of us at A&I. Now back to the show. Hello and welcome back. I am DM Dono. Ah, uh, <laughs> we're back hey, in it. Are you making fun of me? No, I no make fun of you. <laughs> I love how right as we came back, your camera feed just buzzed out. <laughs> Whatever. Oh. Um, <clears throat> so you guys have made a new friend. Yip is still asleep in the backpack because I am not doing RP for a character. That Yip is gonna so come back and be like. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> Who the fuck are you? Because <laughs> I, I, I'm also going to point out, like I said, he's six foot five. I'm not he's the tallest. taller than all of you. Wait, yeah, no. Yip is like yeah. at his, his like hip. You guys are the, Ver what is it? Oh, is it the AT&T or Verizon? It, what was the old place that had like the bars that went up? <laughs> AT&T. Yeah, AT&T. AT&T did that? AT yeah. Goodness. Freaking 90s reference over there. God. Early 2000s. Showing your age. Showing your yep. age. I'm old! I mean, AT okay. Technically so, still a company, but... You guys continue to walk down the path. Um, anybody got, like, camping supplies as it starts, as it begins to get dark? I did. Huh? Okay. Uh, yeah. I got, I don't know why I have a bedroll, but I have a bedroll. <laughs> okay. It's just um, a blanket he drapes himself in to seem more normal. <laughs> I am he technically normal doesn't need it. lights on. <laughs> it's like, lights I am normal, off. just stares at everything. <laughs> you, no, 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 you remember the old CRTs, how when you'd shut them off, they'd be like kind of glowing in the back for a little bit? Mm -hmm. Because of the, the bulb. That's his eyes when he's in his, like, inactive but conscious state. Mm -hmm. He has little CRT eyes. That's what they are. Nice. Um, <laughs> I, I, like, so, I remember how some of the CRTs, the whole picture would start, would be all the way open, then, like, closed in the middle, and then you just have that ball. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, since this is your first, your guys' first time camping, um, well, yeah, but like in game, I'm talking. So, first, I'm going to ask for a roll to find firewood. Okay. <laughs> See how much you can get. I have a DC in mind of how much you need to get, make it through the night. Um, and then that'll be your first roll. And then you'll do perception checks in whatever order you guys want to do. So, All right. For the night. Firewood, go. Everybody can, it can be like a group That's thing 20. if you want. Uh, okay. What are we, is it just a straight D20 or is it like survival? Uh, Investigation or, or survival. Actually, yeah, survival makes more sense. We'll do that. 21. 21, okay. 19. 24. You guys have, you guys have. We found uh, sticks in a forest. It's a fine. miracle. Yeah, yes. it's not that hard to find firewood in a forest at all. <laughs> <laughs> Just waiting until we're in a desert and we're rolling with disadvantage and we're all getting natural ones and we're like, well, no fire tonight. Everybody curl up to the cold metal. <laughs> he just opens his chest and, like, the internals are hot. It's like, holy crap, there's nobody inside of that thing? <laughs> we could pull an Edward Elric with his head getting knocked off. <laughs> 
it would require repair. Okay. Um, you guys find firewood. You have shitloads of firewood. So much. Yes. God. Every single one of you is just like, oh, no, find firewood. And you all come back with like handfuls of it. Well, let's, let's put it in the, yeah. the case. Since I finally have strength, can he just carry a log? Yeah. <laughs> just, I have found firewood. Drops it and it thuds. Beautiful. Yeah. You can just like post it and then just let it burn throughout the night as it goes upwards. <laughs> <laughs> We're not burning the telephone pole. <laughs> we aren't those guys. We totally are. We, we are the rednecks of adventurers. All right. This was fun right. for me and deciding what I want to do. Um, I'm going to grab Xanathar's guide and do. <laughs> And just so I have less to have to freaking make up. <laughs> so, um, it's got some really nice tables in it. I would recommend anybody, if you're a DM and you don't want to have to make up everything, buy Xanathar's Guide. <laughs> Xanathar's Guide is really wonderful. Xanathar's it Guide, Mordenkainen's, and Tosh's Cauldron. I'm so excited for Tosh's Cauldron. I have not gotten that one yet. And right now. It hasn't. I don't think it's come out yet. I know they, they've just been yeah, talking about all the stuff. Yet. It, it's gonna have new race stuff, new class stuff, tons of new items, and there are apparently a lot of stuff from Unearthed Arcana and that they've been playtesting is gonna be made official by it. So yeah. like, yeah. They have a lot of Unearthed um, Arcana that's going to become official. So <laughs> Hi, I'll welcome like to We Play D&D, &D, and we'd like you to join us in our expensive addiction. Okay. <laughs> Why? Oh, we're here to help. Just... The sun keeps getting right. brighter, so I'm having to turn on my ring light so my face actually is visible right. and not so, in shadow. Question: Are you guys camping near the water, or are you guys camping in the forest? Uh, I'll let you guys decide this. I well, well Marish would want to camp near the water because he likes the okay. water. Okay, and he wants to fish. I can't okay. say anything because I can't use player knowledge on this. I'm a Boy Scout. I literally know what the best potential camping spot is. I do too, but Marish does. Exactly. Make a That's the thing is. Guard. Well, I'll roll survival, but like guard seven. Give me a high DC, Dono. He's never had to camp. Okay. You can roll with disadvantage <laughs> if you wish. Marish camps all over the no, place. No, I'll take that know. natural one. <laughs> oh. I think we should camp in the water. <laughs> Fantastic idea. My dice did what I wanted them to, because uh, he's a robot! He has no need yeah. for fire or camping or tents. Marish has a blanket to make a lot, feel comfortable. And has camped a lot over the, the his course of his travels, but he's not the smartest, and he doesn't know the best place to camp. He just, he's just like, this seems cool, I'll camp in a tree. Yeah, oh, pretty are much. you a tiger? Cool! <laughs> what tiger. Tiger. Can I do a survival can, check to see? Sure, you can totally do that. <laughs> I don't want to be in the worst place. I feel like Briar out of all of us would totally be the most experienced with camp. So you guys know, I'm uh, I'm literally like I have no idea where you guys should go. <laughs> <laughs> That's a twenty. Welcome to open world. There's a reason. Okay, uh, I don't know, so make your decision of what um, would be best. So, uh, if, if you're gonna roll a twenty-two. Uh, I will tell you, if you're sleeping on a beach, you are exposed to opened wind, but you oh. can see really easily. If you're in <laughs> the woods, the wind isn't that bad, but you can't see worth of shit. Camping in, like, an opening on the edge of the woods can help protect you from wind while still giving you good visibility on the beach side. Okay. Let's and see. that's some Boy Scout knowledge right there. Because I taught fucking wilderness survival. Okay finally find a use for those eight years later. Okay, so you guys are wanting to do on the beach, right? So, like, on the, like, just the edge of the woods mm -hmm. where we can find, like, a nice flat spot, so we're not, like, in the open wind, because if anybody has had to, ever had to try and sleep on a beach, I know Utah, actually, none of you guys have beaches. Uh, I grew up in California. I know you and Don yeah. grew up in like California, California, like fifteen too. minutes from each other. I'm also. I grew up in I California to too. California too. I'm so. surrounded by Californians. <laughs> <laughs> and 
I was like maybe 15 minutes from the beach. So, yeah, so anybody who has ever tried to sleep on a beach <laughs> at night, mm -hmm. um, especially when it's windy, I don't know if you've tried to sleep in a sand blaster while cold, but it's a cold sand blaster. So, I'm going to ask you guys now this. Uh -huh. Do you want to accept my roll, or would you guys like to roll a d100? And we can't know your roll before we accept it, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. But he's smiling. I think I'm we should smiling, risk our it's, own It's going to be interesting. Uh, True. I, who's, who's been rolling the best today? D&D Beyond. Really? Okay. Have you rolled that well? I rolled a natural 20 just a minute ago. Okay, yeah. Then uh, I'm going to say Marish. Oh. Do it. Yep. Okay. Dice hate me. Uh, 91. 91. Oh, nice. Hopefully it's not like when I lost my arm and a higher number is worse. I told you it was good. Uh, we're all good today. Just wait. He pulled up that D100 list of things to happen on a long rest that I use for my home game. Oh, I love that list. There's one where literally a witch walks in, puts a potion down next to one of the players and disappears. And it's a random potion. So now one of okay. my potions, or one of my players has a potion. Okay. That, um, well, it's like I'm mushrooms. going to ask again. <laughs> so you are wanting to do a character, the character's D100 or my D100? I think we had said we wanted to do the characters unless it's the exact same okay. number. Okay. It's a 1 in 100 chance. Okay. <laughs> Let me just roll this. I don't die. trust Gano anymore. Yeah, no. Either we right. rolled the worst thing or he rolled the worst thing or they both rolled the exact same thing and he's just faking us out. Yeah, or we're the, the, Which is they're it, pretty Dono? <laughs> <laughs> or we had uh, um, roles that were equally not as terrifying, but he wants to psych us out. Yeah, like if our that 91 could... is like something really good, but he's just trying to get us to go with his. And I wouldn't put it past Dono to do that. Now, would you, Dono? I am trying to find something really quick <laughs> before um, you guys begin to do your. Uh... Sleep. So, if you wish to make perception checks, you um, you so how do you want me to do this, Dono? Because for six hours he is inactive, but mm -hmm. he isn't asleep. Like he, he can, it specifically says that he is can, inactive but conscious. You can make a perception check with disadvantage during that six hours. So my two-hour watch would be normal, and then those six hours yeah. I can do. Disadvantage, yeah. or somebody else can take it, not take it, and they can. Just I I can't will give, give the others. I I would be okay with giving the others the perception check during that period. Yeah. Okay. So who would now like Dono? Yes. Which one was worse? We are dying to know. See, the thing you guys didn't hear that the stream did is I used voice mod right then. <laughs> <laughs> so I sounded like the devil. <laughs> You're just going to be like, oh, that is, is... terrifying. Actually, no, it wouldn't have been picked up on the podcast audio. Damn. I got to figure out how to make that work during Discord. Um, we're gonna con so I'm going to need perception checks from those that are wanting to do everything. So. I will take okay. first watch because I want to okay. fish as the sun goes down. I'll take the second. I will take seven, the third, ten. which should be late watch. Oh, Guard. Jesus. So, shop, your character can make rolls, but it's at disadvantage. So if you wish... Well, no, no, no. Just, like, because so, literally the way that I have it is that like you're just sitting and looking out. And so your it just has to on. be... Well, no, no, no. He just has to be inactive for six hours. A long rest is eight. So he'd oh. be up and active... He'd be like conscious, conscious during his uh, his watch, and then the other six hours of the long rest, he would just be staring. Yeah. You just be yeah. That's so the inactive period would be you sitting, and oh, staring okay. into one direction, and that's why perception check would be at disadvantage because you're not. Getting, yeah, you're just getting like, okay. Yeah, this. 
Sorry, I thought you were talking about during his guard no. watch. I'm like, no, 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 he's totally looking around. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got you. I got you. Um, yeah, okay, okay, cool, cool. So first uh, I will say is no dark vision. No dark vision? Oh. I okay, don't cool. know how Warforged <laughs> don't have dark vision, but I don't have dark vision. Okay. Hmm. You so. get lights installed later. <laughs> <laughs> Headlight. Oh my god, I can have literal headlights. <laughs> like a fucking uh a little like mining light that he just like sticks on top of his head. Okay. <laughs> oh, you guys are my kind Please of somebody draw him with literal headlights. I want to see it. Or would it be like the Power Rangers movie where his eyes just like turn into beams of light? Yeah, I was thinking like the um uh It's like the Iron Giant, Iron where Giant. He just blinks. Yeah. He's just <laughs> got these big old spotlights. Spotlights right. just um for first perception check, let's let's continue on, shall we? <laughs> okay, I'm disadvantage. Sorry. Six. Oh, so yeah, Maris, um, you are first. Um, this is him in um, his inactive state. He's able to make perception checks with disadvantage. So you roll the six? Cool. Okay. One. Very nice. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Marish, you hear birds chirping. Oh, no, not birds chirping, but you hear like, ah! way in the back. But Does that Something sound like the monkeys? Chirping. Are those the monkeys? No. Uh, you can make hey, a hey, it's the monkeys. with disadvantage. Because you've probably never heard this. You don't know what this is. You can make a survival check to see if you can identify what kind of creature it is. If you wish. Four. Four? You have no fucking clue what the hell that was. <laughs> 24. Oh, 24. Mm -hmm. um, it sounds almost falcon, if not eagle-like. So sounds like within dinner. The bird family. You want to go investigate? No. No, I don't. Okay. <laughs> I'm actually going to make a roll here. That, who's second? Okay. Me. <clears throat> that wasn't... I'm going to see... Okay. okay. Um, you see, Marish, at the very end of your watch, you do see a tree shift. Like an actual fucking tree shift. Like shift? Um, how would you say like it shook? shook? Like it uh, shook. Like something uh, might have landed on. Um, uh, Briar, mm -hmm. I poke her with my staff. Uh, Briar, watch out for that tree. There's something big up there. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> what? Okay. 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 I'll God, watch out for it. Where is it? <laughs> I am. I need to go to D and D Beyond for this. <laughs> Hey, hey, Beyond has monkey. like every single monster, right? <laughs> monkey, right? If you've paid for it. Oh, really? Yeah. You have to pay for it? Yeah, you have to pay for the um whatever book it's from. You have to have it from that. You can buy individual yep. monsters for like I think two dollars. Mm -hmm. uh, but otherwise, you, it's because of the way that it works. It's it's how D and D Beyond makes it so they can actually do business. Yeah, I need to get camera so I can be able to use my phone because I literally have an app for every single monster. <laughs> oh. Just let me know when I can roll for my watch. Oh, yes, you can totally roll. I... You can totally roll. Sorry. Um... I got a 16. 16. Okay. Uh, you absolutely feel like there's something watching you. <laughs> There's something watching you. Anyways. And you can even see it. it I can. large, and there's multiples of them. <clears throat> oh, no. And let me, I just need to get, okay, good. I found it. Cool. Um, you see in the tree a large eagle head. You can make another perception check. It's a fucking griffin. 20 feet away, you see the body. 
Perception. That is a 19. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's what drunk said. <laughs> it is you can see the front air, uh, half is eagle and the back half is claws dug into the tree as it's just staring you down and you see shadows of what seems to be a, a few others. Can I intimidate it? <laughs> oh, fuck! <laughs> After I tell everyone to wake up. <laughs> Are you doing that quietly? The waking part, yes. The intimidation, kind of? Quietly? Okay. Maybe? I don't, I don't know. I have some fun with this. <laughs> wake up! Wake up! Uh, make a slide of hand. Up. I just got to sleep. What? Make a slide of oh, hand. Oh, that didn't get it. Wake them up. Okay. Oof. Please, dice, don't hit. That was not a good roll. I would like to role play being woken up, please. Okay, please. So that is a. 20, 22. 22. 22. You are yes. quietly able to wake up everybody. It is very silent. <laughs> hey, hey, wake up. What wake do you up. want? I Eyes immediately bright and just turns his head as you walk up. <laughs> <laughs> I do not sleep. <laughs> there, are, there are evil. Uh, with her pointing them out, can he see them? Uh, uh Yes, you can very much see them. Well, actually, no. With your dark vision, you would probably not. Or you know, yeah, I have dark no dark vision. So, no, I can't see you anything don't. Past, like... It's the middle of the fucking night. You see, oh, you see nothing except for what the firelight would give off, which is about thirty feet there is, of light. There is only darkness to my eyes. That's how I feel about my soul. <laughs> Excuse me, while I turn into a Russian poet. <laughs> <laughs> there is only darkness, <sighs> vodka, and borscht. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Borscht isn't even Russian, uh, if I remember correctly. It's like Polish. And I go wake up everyone else and then just stare at them. Okay. Yeah, he's just gonna, like, stare where she pointed <laughs> and you stare there is something there. And I'm gonna, like, growl a little. Make an intimidation roll. Okay. Please, dice. This might not ready work. ready to switch out the next character? As they carry Marish off. What'd you roll? Hi! That was a one! Oh, you, you see, uh. Murder! Murder more foul. Birds. So um. <laughs> this is so fucking hard for me to want to do. <laughs> Grab Marish and like fly off. It's like <laughs> all they well, see is a lizard, much larger than they normally eat. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh no. <laughs> okay. This one's now a little I'm gonna tougher. Ask this question: High or low? Shop high or low? High. Okay. And Seven has drawn his great sword. Um, like, at this point, check. like once he heard the crow. You, you remember check. why I said I changed his? You you Jono, you remember why I said he has it as his dump stat? He has no modifier. <laughs> I know because <laughs> he uh, doesn't have an expression. The fun thing about barbarians is that you can do an alternative thing that when they're raging, you can use their strength as an intimidation. Is that? That's an alternative rule. So, so if you're raging um, in this moment, you could use your strength, but you're not raging. So, so that's it's an just 11. Your charisma. That's an 11. That's an 11. I'm going to roll for that. Ooh. Okay then. 
Ooh. What would be... that damage is? Insight is intelligence or wisdom? Uh, insight is wisdom. Okay. Yeah. The other side of that disadvantage was a 17. Ooh. Ooh. Donna's turning into an owl. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, Wait, no, I played owl. Something else, as you guys hear a large thud from behind you. Body turns. Stomp, 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 stomp. <laughs> hear like a shift and you see the griffins just fly off fucking griffins yeah oh, you didn't hear that oh. i i called it <laughs> no, i didn't hear you say griffins i called it and he said i was right <laughs> i missed I said, that part well i did describe them as large eagles on the front and then lion like bodies in the back clawed into the trees oh so they did that not off. pick up? They they did were that not pick up at I'm all. Sure pick, I'm sure it picked up, and I was just <laughs> sidetracked figuring out oh, character God. stuff. But no, I um, just heard the clawing. That's, that's all. So, so you know, all that all that came across was, was the eagle part. Mm -hmm. So there was a thud behind us, yes. and the griffins in front of us flew away. Yes. Yeah. Body turn. Feet. Stop. 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 <laughs> If anybody's ever seen a modern robot turn, <laughs> or it's okay. like doing little steps to um, do it, because it doesn't have articulating hips. Briar, even your yes, odds. even your odds. Let's do even. Okay, all right. I feel like he doesn't actually I... care about what we say. He's just making it up. For <laughs> disadvantage. What? Which, by the way, shop. You should change your name from Jerry. On thing. Oh, on the so, Discord, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I had been called you Jerry because I saw I that had been thing. waiting. I had been waiting until we intro. Oh my back. But yeah. Um so perception check with disadvantage? Yes. See if it gets lower than that. <laughs> It didn't. It didn't. Uh, the first, it, the, it was a five and an eight, which that's a nine with my uh, modifier. You see the silhouette. When I roll a so five, the like only thing worse can be one. From the firelight, and they seem to sparkle a little. But you can't really. Who tell. are you? Hi, hello there. How's it going? As you Who see, you come you? from the firelight. A. Beautifully brown-haired woman, darker skin, brown eyes that seem to just shimmer with light in them. Almost gold in a point, it seems it's the best way to describe this. Uh, rich in color. She wears a simple robe over her body. It is earthly and you see her come she has she walks silently towards you and just says oh that was close who are you um, i should say he doesn't actually have for... like a moving mouth the sound's just coming out of a face plate nah, nah, nah. no nose no mouth just his eyes uh there's like a little there, there's two plates, and where they meet, like that little groove, that's where a mouth would be, but it doesn't actually move. I should say that. Uh, my name is Isai. And what may I ask is your name? Hello, Asai. I am Guard Seven. Nice to meet you. As she holds out her hand and shakes it. He, he, for you to shake. He looks down at his sword. His arm, literally, it's all just like mechanical movement. Just she has a surprisingly strong grip. Something that you notice that says something. Considering <laughs> <laughs> you are very strong for tiny mortal meat bag. Why? Thank you. She does seem to be human, 
from what you're seeing. The point where I wish my character could just like scan. <laughs> <laughs> I am from Star Trek. Give me one moment. <laughs> Excuse me as she covers herself even more. <laughs> He's not X ray. Uh, Camera. Where did you come from at this time of night? She points from behind her. Just that way. That's He's just gonna kind of way. turn to Briar and his eyes are gonna just like flicker yellow and back to the blue. Okay. 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 Hello there. Why are you here? Why are you here? Or camping. <laughs> You're creepy. Marish, we have talked about being rude. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I just thought of a bad TV or a bad TV idea. TV show robot adopts small lizard child. <laughs> <laughs> Stay. <laughs> uh, too many tangents. Too many tangents. Okay. Um, she goes and says, <clears throat> "Well." What was your question again, sir? Drunk, what was your question? Why are you here? Well, there were some griffins in the area, and honestly, I saw that there was you here, and wanted to make sure that you were okay. Seems as though my presence scared them off. Yeah, which mm. is concerning, creepy lady. Creepy. She right. takes some insult to that, and she's just like, "Excuse me, I am a delight." He's a child. I get that, but he's very rude. <laughs> I have been trying to help him with it, but have only known him for five hours. <laughs> the pause is in there too. He's like <laughs> checking data, checking data. <laughs> five hours. <laughs> All right. Oh. Well. I was just, I heard noises, saw them, wanted to come check. I'm seeing that you all are okay. If you're wondering, I have a cabin up the way. If not, it's fine. Have yourselves a wonderful time. And she- Thank you. You're welcome. It is lovely to meet you. I am Issa. And How she that waves her hand. Uh, I-S-S-I. Yeah. Oh, okay. Isai. Isai. I'm saying that a little wrong. Sorry. Isai. It's because you're picking up on the accent. Yeah. Isai? Isai. Yep. <laughs> yes. For, for those that can't see our Discord, obviously, uh, I have labeled her Isai, <laughs> weird lady in the woods. <laughs> Earthly weird lady in the woods. Ethereal? In the woods in the, is, huh? Would, would ethereal be applicable? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Up to you. To I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make it. She seems strong. <laughs> like, weird. Weirdly. Either way, uh, she says, well, it was nice to meet you all. Um, what was your names, by the way? Hi, I'm Marish. Nice to meet you, Marish. You nice to meet really you. Work on lady. talking to people in a nicer tone and not call them weird. I didn't say weird. I said creepy. Okay. <laughs> I was correct. trying to help my own emotions in this moment. We apologize <laughs> for his behavior. I am Gerald Seven. I, I seven. already met you. Thank seven. you very much. Seven. 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 All right. And Apologies. you, my uh, beautifully white-haired uh, individual, what is your name? I am Briar. Nice to meet you, Briar. Same. Um, it was delightful to meet you all. If there is ever, I mean, if before I leave, is there anything that I can do to help? Or anything that you would wish? All right. Well, have yourselves a lovely day. 
and hopefully those griffins stay away. Enjoy yourselves. And she disappears into the woods. That's a murder cabin. <laughs> she has a murder cabin. That's like freaking, what's that fable where the kids go and stay at the witch's house? Hansel and Gretel? Hansel and Gretel. Shit right there. Yep, nope. Not about that, last. No, I'm not about that at nope. all. Nope. I ain't about no candy in the fucking forest. I can make my own. <laughs> Mom told me not to go with creepy people in the woods. Good. Then why are you with us? <laughs> because you're not creepy. You're weird. <laughs> I appreciate that there's a difference <laughs> in Marish's consideration. <laughs> I appreciate that there is difference. Now, go back to sleep. Small lizards need sleep to grow. Maybe one day you reach my ankle. All right. <laughs> he just made a short joke. That's right. The robot made a short joke. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> I told you you were gonna like him. Oh friggin' a. Okay. Uh, make oh your fire perception checks in the night. Uh, so it's it's just it's mine this time, isn't it? Yeah. Because it's my you watch. You have you don't or... have dark vision, so it's a disadvantage. So. Yeah, it's disadvantage anyways. <laughs> oh. Come on, baby. Daddy it's it's a straight roll because you do have. A fire. So, just straight roll. What was it, a one? Oh, God. I'm... All right. Okay. All right. It's not right. terrible. Like, the best perception okay. check I've had. <laughs> Good to know. Um, the rest of your watch goes without a hassle. Considering you can't smell anything, but all you hear is the way oh, it's fuck. into the... Oh, fuck. has to wake up, yip. Because uh, it's eight hours for long rest, isn't it? Yeah. So it'd be four watches. Well, I'll I'll say that you guys are not each able to do like the first two were like three, and then yours is okay. one, and then I'll just letting Yip sleep. Up. Yeah, Yip can just sleep. You okay. had your time, so you're good. All right, Ethan. Right. Long rest is done. You guys had if Harry. That was an interesting night. Almost <laughs> fucking died. <laughs> Of Griffin? Yeah. In how many ways did we almost die? <laughs> you may never know. Uh. <laughs> I want to see your notes now. I want to know what those was roles she, Dono? <laughs> huh? Should we go back and kill her? Is there a bounty on hags? Uh, on a scale of one to bat crap evil, how evil was she, go? Dono? How, how? I don't know. I think your range I is a little off shit. there, Drunk. It's on a scale from the granny that makes apple pies to the white witch from Narnia. How evil was she? <laughs> Do you guys want to go looking for a cabin in the woods? Hell no! That's no. a murder cabin! No! Because <laughs> nope. I can pull up I'm Matt and right now. Up some some uh-uh. Nope. All right. <laughs> Right, we'll go uh, on our way. You want to go looking for some breakfast? You... Yes, I want to forage us up some breakfast, whether that's fishing, okay, hunting, or check. foraging. I guess survival check. Thirteen. Okay. Uh, so you don't notice the other thing. Um, <laughs> you are able to find what seems to be scratches in some of the closer trees. Um, and directional, what do they call it? Tracking areas, basically high traffic areas in which you can either make a trap, continue following them to find, um, animals, or, yeah, so depending on what you want to do. I want to track them. Okay, so I can make a, another survival check. Much better. Natural 20. 24. There okay. we go. You come across what is a small deer. Uh, it does seem um, to be full grown. It just seems to be small in nature. Little pygmy deer. You think an Eldritch Blast will kill it? 
<laughs> no, never. A D10? Never. <laughs> That's a as deer. long as you don't roll a one. <laughs> uh, oh. Well, no. I think a one would still kill a small enough deer. Eldritch Blast. <laughs> okay. Roll to hit. Now I'm actually going to look up what the HP on a deer is. <laughs> 16. <laughs> 16, that'll definitely hit. <laughs> Full damage, 13. Oh, you yeah, just instantly king right in the head. <laughs> that shot, HP is it's four. It falls over. Oof. <laughs> Oof. Oh my god. So you know how Jerry only had a 14 AC? Uh -huh. The deer's is 13. <laughs> <laughs> he was almost as weak as a deer. Oh. <laughs> Uh, uh, so you now it. have a small deer. Uh, you can do your yeah. You can yeah. You have eighteen to clean it and bring some meat okay. back. You clean, dig it back. You skin it, hang it, do whatever the heck. Leave the uh, bits that you don't want back there, back there, and you now have <laughs> stick the untanned hide into the cloak. Have eleven pounds of venison. Okay, and um, I'm gonna go cook us breakfast. Which all right. Can we, can we please add the untanned hide to the uh, yeah, you can totally the do cloak that. so that Briar just has like a slight smell? And that is a seventeen. <laughs> to cloak. It's not a cloak; it's a jacket. By the way, the if you're talking about the uh, oh, somebody added it as the oh. cape of holding. Oh, it's a, it's a like coat. No, it doesn't have a hood or oh, anything wait, like that. It's like a coat. It's like a nice. Oh. Uh, British soldier kind of looking coat, but you can design it and color it whatever way you want. When so, oh, like a uh, a, a great cloak with the uh, or a great coat with the like extra mm -hmm. nice. And I made a like all I the made nice a thing for it. and stuff like that. So. so, the morning starts out with you see Marish go into the woods, and then all of a sudden you hear this bang, and about twenty minutes later, Marish comes out with the hide of the deer laying down with a bunch of meat on it. He drags it out and gets starts digging through his bag, pots and pans, creates the bonfire with this magic, and starts working his magic with all the spices, and you have do a you, delicious breakfast. Do you guys bring back, do you bring back any bones for, yep? Might as well, yeah. I bring back a femur. Okay, so you have, I'll say two pounds of bones. Oh. In total, that you bring back. Mm -hmm. I rolled high for my cooking check. So, oh. I'll say that oh, God. the Yips thing, since Ace isn't here uh, to do the anime mm -hmm. morsel, it takes at least a pound of either bones or meat to be able to do it. But That'd let's be... not animate a chunk of venison. <laughs> it might be offended that it was just murdered. <laughs> just flop, 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 flop. <laughs> I mean, there's the thing that definitely was in Jerry's inventory that would be large enough. Do you guys want um, thing? Oh, his hand. All right. <laughs> That's make the thing a, Donna didn't want to mention was in his inventory. Make a dexterity. Uh, well, I believe Gip already has it, so. <laughs> Yip has his hand. God damn it. I'll send a message That's to That's why Kibari. I didn't say it was on the table. So, uh, make mm. a survival, or no. Survival or nature, whatever. No, dexterity. The dexterity to cook. So. I already did. It was a 17. Oh, okay. Then you make breakfast. You guys have venison for breakfast. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, how does Marish react to... Like, does he try to serve guard I food? do. Guard looks at it. I do not eat. But I made it for you. I do Good. not have stomach. Or teeth. Weird. I do not have mouth. <laughs> it's so far up he never noticed. <laughs> <laughs> I am not human or mortal. Marish Did you not have know a... that? Okay. Turn so to walk away I have a tangent. Point. What are you? I have a tangent. Does that mean such spells as like Heroes Feast? doesn't affect you? Let me actually read Hero's Feast, because I think it does say you have because to you consume have to, the meal. Yeah. Let me, I'm going to look that up. Just a weird tangent, but uh, let's continue. <laughs> yeah, I'll look I that up. I just thought about that. Point. I'm like, there's certain spells in which you have to consume something. 
that means like healing like potions and stuff like that i don't know how problem. potions would work because potions technically you just have to imbibe them so he can like he can put stuff in him. Can like you just, I'm sure, like energy drinking. I kind of, no, I kind of picture he has a no, 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 don't no, no. This is what I'm picturing. <laughs> he has a little like thing that pops out, and he puts the bottle in, like it's a fucking. Uh, it's like a fuel. Like he just clicks, whatever. and then it chug, 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 <laughs> pops it out. And oh it, like, he has a gas cap on his. There's throat. like a small. There's like the gas cap, and then like the fuel tank, just, which is like your health bar. <laughs> Oh, so it, just, a, it just it pops out little... and just like like uh think of how like a syringe empties in mm -hmm. or the so. syringe is emptied in like the captain america like buff up scene so, that where like the uh, potions just get dropped in. To use a po first time someone decides to use a health <laughs> potion on you they're gonna have to, gonna have to make an out. investigation check on you to figure that one i out. am okay with this <laughs> so as you're uh, backed away from you you see his scales go really gray like an uh, a dark gray okay. and he just walks away backward very slowly sorry i will try to eat but i have no thing to consume he opens it and starts shoving it down the pipe. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah you guys see this like port open on his throat i don't know his throat his chest he has a port in this region and he's just like dropping the meat into it <laughs> you hear a garbage disposal sound <laughs> oh my god it, 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 it's like a uh, will it blend and it just liquefies it into fuel <laughs> he's best All i can right. do thank you I love that so much. I knew Marish was gonna have fun with the fact of you now have a party member who cannot consume food Oh. And he's offended by that. <laughs> <laughs> I was made this funny. way. I was born this Just way. watching all this go. We were made this way. Like, it does say uh, a creature that partakes of the feast gains several benefits, so you have to eat the food. And technically, he doesn't eat food. He can consume a potion, but anything he puts in him is just like, it's not eaten, it's you know, waste product. Yeah. <laughs> it's... All right, cool. So yeah, Heroes <laughs> Feast uh, doesn't... Well, that's that's a house rule. Shit, Heroes man. Feast and uh, potions like that don't work on Warforge. God. That's rough. I don't think... We'll have to write that out as like a longer rule and put it I in the have house never, rule section. I've never... I've never played that, Warforge like before. That, I know. I've never played them either. And like, when you brought that up, I'm just like, wait. Because it, it makes sense to me that when designing a Warforged in a world where potions are a thing, you would totally make a like a way to put potions into the system. Mm -hmm. But there's no way you would give a shit if they're eating. They it literally says you do not have to eat. Yeah, but for the ratio are made of like herbs, spices, different things like. But they're they're imbued with magic. So yeah. it would make sense to me that like the creator would make a way for those to like inject into the system. This is, this is a fantastic but, tangent. I don't need protein. Fuck protein. This, this, this would be a fun d and Not made. <laughs> he, he rolls up his sleeve and it's like a little robot arm. <laughs> he rages and it turns into Bane's arm. <laughs> Alright. So you guys have this awesome moment of discovering things about each other and learning and just being like <gasps> yip wakes up i will say yip interacts within this moment and meets you for the first time and just goes yeah <laughs> hello i am guard seven except it's more like cat. hello i am guard seven right you just hear yip go yep yep that's all you hear it's just coming out of this cat person that is now on hind legs walking normally like a person this is very strange yeah. you get used to it i don't know how i feel upon that one but okay uh you guys, you guys continue on your way and have yourselves a wonderful time are anybody making like perception checks while you're walking i will because i'm a curious <laughs> of nature okay Oh, that's a five. Okay. 
don't really notice anything. Are you guys walking towards more of the beach or in the forest? I'd say we'd be walking like on the beach, at, like yeah, right okay. on the line where it's like mm -hmm. the sand just starts to stiffen up, stiffen up, so it's not so hard to walk on, but you're not having to like weave around trees. Okay. Um, then the eventually, you guys, eventually, you guys find what is a boat. It is a small dinghy like boat. There's no sail, it just seems to have oars. There's no and visible holes. Yeah, I want to see if there's tracks or anything see. around it. Um, you do notice some different tracks as it comes up into uh, the sand, but as it comes into grass, into the forest, the tracks disappear. I'm going to head into the forest. Okay. I will follow. All right. Yeah, I guess following. Make... survival check, I guess, because you're entering into an area without a road, so. Are 12. Oh. I have a modifier. 19. 19. Dirty 20. Oh, nice. Woo! So, you guys are able to come into this area, and you can see what seems to be... You enter into an area that is a small opening, and it seems like there was a struggle here. Uh, there is some very dry blood. It is old, a couple days, probably. Um, but currently, there is nothing here left besides that. Noticing down onto the ground, it seems, I would say, it looks as though it was probably like a wolf. Or maybe even multiples, but they can, looking at everything and survival wise, it looks as though the wolf lost, but the bodies are completely gone. Hmm. Is there any way to tell which direction this thing that killed them went off in? Did it go towards where we just were? <laughs> Wolves. Hmm. It does seem like the individual stayed there for a while, but, and you can see like where there's pressure marks within the grass of where um, the bodies were, there, there's blood, but it's completely dried off of where like you could see wolf prints are like a wolf kind of dimension. So something you would imagine that as wolves well being that in a forest and like the size and such, they're decently well The blood is dried, the bodies are completely gone. And yeah. Should we go deeper into the forest, guys? Do not know. Um actually I can't ask that question because he doesn't know where we're going. Never mind. Where are we at where on the map? Because I, I was going to ask how far away from the village we are. Um, you guys are about a day, uh, uh, a day and a half track. Okay. You guys want and to, if like, we were to use run? the boat, would that speed us up at all if we were using the boat? You could, maybe. But that would be having to make it out into the lake area. So taking time to get away from the shore. So you're not getting pushed in from the small waves having to fight that so it's kind of like 50 50 really depending on how it would take about the same there. amount of time yeah it's it's really not going to save you much okay and then you have um, to pay docking fees to dock that boat <laughs> no. it seems to me that these people are dead and there are signs there you had said there were tracks for the where the wolves went Really? Like, you can see that they got up and they left, but, like, it's yeah, there's not like the a... tracks have gone, so. Yeah, yeah, we wouldn't be able to track down what killed these guys. It seems and the bodies be... were dragged off, but those tracks are also faded with time. 
it seems to be three hmm. bodies that had gotten up and left. But you're like the tracks are gone, but the impressions within the ground because of how long they're sitting there are still there. I think maybe we continue on from here to wherever you are going. Where are you going, anyways? Um, uh, the city starts with a dwarf name. We're going down south. Yeah. Do you have the map, Briar? What does it say? Uh, here, let me take a... I don't have... A so, are we, are we going back to the town we started in and then going down yes. to Droll? You guys are yeah, going to start in... You guys are going to go into Paeus. You're going to go to, um, Thoril? Or For Forin? God, let me close this shit. Um, let me look at my notes. something a little less intensive on. Um, Elford, you guys will enter into the post of Elford and look at, like, basically you're told if you wanted to, you could look into that and see um, if there were any quests on the way so you guys could maybe make money uh, for your journey. Um, towards I, I was just wondering where we were going, like, in the immediate moment. So you guys are so going, going to pay us. To and pay it, us. It's gonna, yeah, and it's going to be about a... Uh, I believe it was a five-day journey to your next stop, which would be Elford. From there, then, okay. Yeah. Where, where, I understand we go south, but where are we going to right now? Um, the message board. I feel like Marish would know the answer to this. Um... I'll be honest with you guys, I'm having a hard time focusing on the names today, so whereas okay, Marish it, would know, I do not. I You just said Elford. it and I've already forgot. Yeah. Elford. 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 E -L -L Elford. We're going there. F-O-R-D. Elford. Okay. Elford. Let us... I, I do not believe we can help whoever was injured here. I think maybe mm -hmm. we should just continue on. That is probably the right call. All right. Well, Though I, uh, above game, I'm dead positive that all those bodies aren't there because <laughs> undeath. Yeah, that's that's where I'm at with. Fucking gonna end up dealing with Vecna at the end of this shit. <laughs> Don't give me ideas, Sean. <laughs> He's the god <laughs> of undeath. Level twenty, just storming the Shadowfell. Bitch, stop killing people. <laughs> <laughs> we get it. You want friends. There's better oh. ways to make them. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Going to a necromancer. It's like, listen, there's better ways to make friends than and killing raise them and a raising family. them back. <laughs> <laughs> might take I'm a little just longer, trying to raise a family. Right? Yeah, I, I mean, say, why, didn't, why didn't the necromancer have any kids? Because he already raised a family. I mean, we have a necromancer in our party, so... Yep. <laughs> Alright, uh, you guys continue on your way to the town, and uh, make a general... Everybody just make a general perception check for the uh, next night, and then we'll go into the town. And I will... Ten! Alright, and now I'm gonna ask again. Do you want me to roll percentile, or do you guys want to roll percentile? I think shop should this time. Okay. Shop. Are you guys sleeping so, next to the coast or are you sleeping in the forest? I'd say we're still looking at the same spot, just finding a spot that's like right on the edge of the beach so we get the windbreak of the trees but aren't like in among them. Yeah. If that makes you sense. You guys had gotten enough wood from the night before that <laughs> you didn't need to get wood in for the night. I'm just carrying the remains of a still burning log the whole day. <laughs> oh my god. What? What? What was and that? There's like a small area of the forest that's just been set on fire. <laughs> no, we were walking on the beach. Like at the yeah, edge of the beach. So. Into the forest. There, I wouldn't say that there's an area of the forest as much as there's just a line of like small squirrels yeah. and birds that have gotten knocked out of the air. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's like a beehive that suddenly just stopped yeah. because they got smoked out. <laughs> no. 27. 27, okay. 
And we, we do want to call it soon. Alright, so. Yeah, I know. Um, so, you guys make it through the night. Um, I'll just say, somebody make a perception check with advantage for the whole group. Not it. I'll do it. Let's do two different dice and see if they love <laughs> if me. If I try and roll it, it's a straight roll. <laughs> <laughs> well, either way, I get advantage on it, so... Because yay perks. Yeah. Probably yeah. have the highest perception of all of us, too. <laughs> you uh, had no. advantage. You yeah, had advantage. But, so it would have been a 19. So it's only yeah, a plus yeah. one. Okay, oh, so one, dirty right? 20. Yeah. No, okay. it was an 18 plus one. So okay. nine. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. Sorry. So... That goes, All their the guys' last night goes without a hitch. Uh, you guys enter into town, and it's, a, it's, a, it's, <laughs> you guys enter into town, and it's crazy. Um, you see what is a building at, you see one of the warehouses that were at the docks set on fire, and you see winged lizard creatures flying around, and it's just fucking crazy. And that's where we're going to end for the night. <laughs> oh, screw you. This is not the music <laughs> I should have had for them. <laughs> it's so Flying original. versions of my people. Uh, actually, I'm guessing wyverns, because I know Dono and he likes yeah. wyverns. Uh, drunk, you can make a perception check for it, if you want. It's a nice town. Actually... They party on the weekends and work hard during the week, man. 19. They're not lizard people. They're kobolds. Oh, fuck. Kobold. <laughs> At least they're not very strong. Wait, wait, wait. Back in numbers. Flying kobolds or kobolds on mounts? Flying kobolds. So, like, fuck. Fuck. <laughs> but at the same time, in character, yay! Flying targets. <laughs> just javelins are already coming out. Just <laughs> right. And that's what we'll pick up next time is a warehouse on fire and kobolds flying around and you guys will either fight you'll enter into either a fight trying to turn off or figuring out the situation. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> we'll find out, won't we? <laughs> All right. Alrighty. Let's do outros. <laughs> Fantasy. Fantasy. Oh, okay. Um, I'm Fantasy Lover playing Briar. And you can find me at, on Instagram at Fantasy Lover. And yeah, there's no posts yet, but there will be in time. In time. One day. One day. Drunk. I am the Drunken Monk. I played Marish, the fun, lovable uh, lizard folk. Uh, welcome, our weird new friend. And so you can find me on rude. TikTok, Twitter, <laughs> Twitch at the Drunken Monk or the Drunken Monk ninety one, and on Facebook at Zordell Photography. And I am Shop Goblin. You can find me on TikTok, Twitter, Facebook, uh, Instagram, and Twitch as Shop Goblin underscore. And uh, I have. Now started playing my new mechanical boy, Guard 7. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Mm -hmm. all, all right. right. And I am Donna the Cleric, a.k.a. your DM for this game. Thank you all for fall or for listening, following along. Um, it is uh, Mental Health Awareness Month. And today, I believe there's a lot of streams going out there. So Specifically, today is Mental Health yeah. Awareness Day in Mental Health yes. Awareness Month. Yes. And so make sure you get the help. One, you have a, not you have somewhere safe to be with people and understand yourself, understand that you are loved and understand that it's okay to not be okay. I think I'm saying this correct. I don't know. I'm trying to be very- Can, yeah, can, I, can okay. I say something here? I don't know what Go to say it. here. I'm trying to be very loving. <laughs> right Mental now. health is not something to to mess with. I I didn't I did pretty well getting out of the military, and it's something that uh, um, here recently I haven't had to deal with too much. I mean, except for certain times of the year. Um, and I, yeah, don't want to admit it with it 
about yourself. And I went through a severe bout of depression here recently, and it took a uh, kick in the ass for me to finally get the help I need. It's okay to ask for help. I, I yep. testify to that 100%. I'm much better now that I did. Yeah, so. I think every single one of us have dealt with mental health in one way or another. I, and I deal, and it's not it's not just like mental health, it's also like disability awareness and such like that as well, where me, I have dyslexia and you guys see it all the time and I have problems pronouncing words and I you know, screw things up all the time and not like you struggle with things, but it's okay. You fight and you learn and you grow and become better and just know that you're never alone. There's always people around and um, well, there's always people around that are willing to help and know that no matter what your struggle is, you can find help, period. Never be afraid to search for better, I guess. I don't, I, I'm trying to say this correctly. Sorry, I'm not the best person to be a yeah. spokesperson, okay. especially when I so, can't speak well. <laughs> but I'll, I wanted to I'll have a second of the up. show to actually talk this yeah. out. With it being it's Mental Health right. Awareness Month, with it being Mental Health Awareness Day specifically, remember, as we've said, just because you feel like you need to be strong doesn't mean you need to. It's okay to talk. Ask for help. Look for communities that are going to support you and help you. And just remember that you have survived every single one of your worst days. And you can make it through whatever the next one's going to be. And everybody here with a and I supports every single one of you guys. So thank you so much for being here, being part of our community and joining us every single week as we <laughs> bumble our way through this stuff. Yeah. Support. Take it a moment at a time, day at a time, week yep. at a time. Okay. The adventure continues next week. Till then, roll for initiative. <laughs>